Field Marshal Montgomery goes to the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York to address 2,000 distinguished guests at the annual dinner of the English-speaking Union. Coming from Washington, where he had conferred with America's military chiefs on Western Union defense, Monty made Western Union the theme of his speech. Referring to the nation's ideological conflict, he says, Civilization today is in danger because of a clash between two conflicting moral codes, between communism and democracy. Communism is a religion. It is anti-Christian, it is retrograde, it is immoral. As a Christian soldier, I declare myself an enemy of communism and all that it stands for. Turning to the world's economic troubles, Monty goes on to say, Now, economic weakness leads to military weakness. And we soldiers know very well that in the hand of strength lie the keys of peace. I always think the British nation saved civilization by standing firm when all seemed lost. <laughs> the most powerful factor for the survival of democracy is strong and sincere cooperation between the English-speaking peoples of the world. And while Monty receives an ovation from his listeners, the policy he outlined is given a firm foundation in Paris. There, the chiefs of staff of the Atlantic Pact nations, after a five-hour conference, agree on a common defense policy. It sets out a joint strategy and coordinated production to implement agreed military plans. It is part of a four-point program proposed by America's Louis Johnson and approved by the representatives of the 11 other Atlantic Pact nations. Defense Minister A.V. Alexander is there to put Britain's name to this alliance. With America supplying the arms to guard the West, the problem that remains to be solved is, should Germany have arms or not?